to remove them without destroying them, since you're essentially sacrificing the pin whenever you try to remove them. And these are special because they have a little O-ring on the inside of them to prevent water ingress. So a couple of you guys have asked about the rear window and originally we weren't gonna remove the rear window because the trim was so fragile and frail. My customer actually was able to purchase new trim and new clips. So we are removing the window. So here it is. And as you can see here, there are, this is actually glue. And uh, the trim, there's, there's all these little trim pieces that kind of go in and install on here. There's one here too. And they go all around the perimeter of the window. And it actually adheres by this, you know, double stick tape here that's really frail and fragile. This is all just gonna come off anyway. But once you remove the trim, um, you're able to, it exposes all the polyurethane underneath the windshield. So now you can just remove it like a regular windshield, which is really, really good because it's gonna make this paint job really shine and be much more professional than it would have been if you had taped along the, the trim. Now, let me show you the trim real quick. So I might have shown this to you earlier in a couple of episodes previous, but this is an aluminum trim, it's black, and it basically sits in this channel here, just like that. And um, the adhesive helps it to stick down onto the windshield, but there's also clips that were going in there. Um, it actually is possible to remove this trim without destroying it, and I was able to do that. Um, but the clips obviously were destroyed, and we had to, uh, we're gonna replace all, I believe there's 18 clips on this whole windshield. So let's go and start removing this puppy. So again, thanks to Jay at Glass USA. Um, He's been doing all my glass work. He's done it on the E31, he's done it on this M3. It's just something that I just don't feel confident doing myself. And I just wanted to make sure that I was having somebody that um, I trust to do the work. And, uh, and Jay has come through every single time uh, for front and rear windshields. Um, he also installed these guys too. And uh, I mean, this is a brand new, brand new install, brand new windshield, brand new um, rubber seals and everything like that. I know it's dirty, but he did a really great job on these. So. Uh, thanks to uh, thanks to Jay for doing that. See, that's how you know it was a good job is when you don't even touch the glass and you gotta be careful because you don't want to touch the um, defroster lines if you uh, if you end up scratching them then you will definitely lose defroster line capability all right so now that the windshield is out we can start doing the fun stuff which is essentially all the mechanicals so let's drop this engine let's drop everything lift the car up roll everything out or well, not everything or how as much as we can do and get this let's get the mechanicals out so we can start working on some body work now, instead of lifting the engine up and over the radiator core support, we're gonna bring it down below. I'm gonna lift the car up over that and then roll it away. In order to do that, we need to disconnect the exhaust and the shifter, both of which require the car to be up as high as possible so that we can disconnect that stuff. So on the S14 exhaust, there's four bolts. I already took them out and they sit loosely here. So that guy basically just sits like that. And then there's also two exhaust hangers right under here. You just need to, I'm gonna be cutting them off and replacing them anyway. And then of course you have on the last section, you have a single, at least in this car, you have a single 13 millimeter bolt that's holding that last rubber hanger. Once I remove that hanger, the whole exhaust is just gonna drop down. Estimate the uh, center of gravity. Oh, not bad. And there it goes. The exhaust shield here is 